Hello Makers! Welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're unboxing, yep, a Tronc CX-3. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! So as you can see in front of me, I have yet another 3D printer to unbox. Yay! <laughs> As you guys know, I do budget printer reviews. I purchase a sub $300 printer every month and I review it for you guys and tell you my thoughts on it. This month it was the Tronxy X3. Now, while I usually buy these printers, this one in particular was sent to me by Gearbest in order to do a review of it. So, stick around till the end of the episode because I have a couple of questions for you in terms of budget printers. Now, having said that, the Tronxy or Tronxy X3 is a very similar printer to the CR10. The difference between them is that this has dual lead screws on the side, while the CR10 has one, and it has a slightly smaller build volume of 220 by 220 by 300 in height, whereas the CR10 has a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400 in height. It costs, currently it's uh, it's about $230 for this printer. However, I just went online and I found it at around $186. So I will leave a link in the description below. There are also some special offers on the CR10 as well. I think they're like $80 less. So they're under 400 euros from Gearbest. So make sure you check them out. And in the meantime, I think it's best that we unbox this thing. Don't you think? So let's get started. Thankfully, this one is the first box where was not abused by customs in terms of being opened and being closed again. So I have high hopes. First layer, let's see what there is. Right, we have the build plate, which is a normal 22 by 22 aluminum sheet with a heat bed and piece of sticker or blue painters tape <laughs> I uh, honestly never thought that I uh, would have to endure another Tronxy power supply so before you say anything before anyone comments I'm gonna grab this it is on 220 volts it is on 220 volts so there <laughs> but once again we'll test it out we have a bit of sample filament, micro SD card and USB card reader. And this is an eight gig micro SD card. We have some acrylic parts with Tron XY or Tron C written on them. This is the bed frame. These are for the power supply, or actually everything that controls the power supply because everything is encased in a box. As you can see, this whole thing has the screen attached to it and you control the printer from there. So it's literally an external part of the printer. We have power cable, more tools, which I will add to my collection some cable management and belts. Uh, we have the usual Tronxy or Tronxy bag of mixed nuts. I hate this. This I am happy to see. Power switch. <laughs> Fused power switch. Next up. We have, this looks like a Melzi board, which is the same that was on the um, Tronxy P802 uh, Mate, MA. Um, it looks exactly the same, actually. And uh, I found that, that board to actually be quite reliable and quite good. So I'm actually happy with that. We have the uh, LCD screen. So this is how it's done. Let me get the microphone closer. 
So you have the screen, you just have to just play it nicer. Slowly and enjoy it. Take your time. There's no rush. Ha! Joel, Angus, that is how you do it. Right, next we have more acrylic parts. We have limit switches. These are parts of the extruder assembly. We have wheel bearings. Brackets, which I'm guessing are the corner brackets for the frame. What else? We have cables. We have some more. So these are, let me see, these are 3D printed parts. They look like they are. They are 3D printed parts. However, they're they're actually nicely printed not bad at all much better than the experience i had with uh, the p802 model we have these looks like lead screws usb cable Ugh. the frame which is made of extruded aluminum or aluminium We have the extruder itself. And I'm kind of noticing already. So, this extruder does not seem to have a part cooling fan on it. That might be an issue, but I am guessing that it will be very easy for me to find a part to print and stick it on this. folded sheet metal frames. These look like the um, stepper motor holders. They're very, very solid. I'd say they're about two or three millimeters thick. And we have stepper motors. Two, three, two, four, and this is the extruder. Wait. Yes, because this is a Bowden style extruder. Done. And that's it. Another unboxing done. So I have two questions now for you guys. Now, seeing as I did not pay for this printer and I did promise you that I will buy a sub $300 printer every month this year, I need your advice because I still want to do that. I will keep my promise because I have my patrons who support me and they support me for that reasons. I have you guys that watch me who support me by enduring me, blabbering off, and also the guys who tip me during the live stream, which once again, very grateful. So I'm going to give you three options and you guys let me know which one you think I should purchase. The first one is the Monoprice Mini Select or Select Mini. I will have to order that from USA because I cannot find it in Europe. The other option is the Tronxy or Tron XY The Mini, which is the same one that Preston recently reviewed. And the third option is a newcomer, which is the Veleman K8 600. It looks like a very solidly built printer. However, it's slightly more expensive than $300, but I'm happy to buy it if you guys choose to do so. The second question I have for you guys is, do you want me to do a live build of this printer or would you rather have me do a time-lapse of the assembly and then do initial thoughts video about it? You guys let me know. I don't want to, I, I really don't want to flood you guys with live builds and this channel is yours as much as it is mine, so your opinion matters to me. That is it for today, guys. I will leave a link in the description to this particular printer, the CR10, and all the others, so you can guys can have a look at them and let me know your thoughts. 
And in the meantime, please comment, subscribe, like, share, and yeah, happy making, guys.